So if we have two terms, it's most likely a difference of squares. These are both perfect squares, so it's going to end up being 4n plus 3 and 4n minus 3. Uh, square root of that is 4n, square root of that is 3. If you were to FOIL this out, you would get that. I'm going to do a couple more quick ones and then show you a bit more of the reasoning. So this guy here, they're both perfect squares. So this is 3x plus 1 and 3x minus 1. Uh, let's go to this one here. Those are both perfect squares. That's n plus 5 and minus 5. Let's do this one here. Those are both perfect squares. That's 2m plus 5 and 2m minus 5. Uh, even something like this guy here, that's just a squared plus 3, a squared minus 3. Even something like that guy, that's just n squared plus 7 times n squared minus 7. Uh, even something like that one, just uh, k squared plus 6, k squared minus 6. And just to finish off all the two ones on here, that's n squared plus 10 and n squared minus 10. So by a bunch of quick examples, you get kind of the idea to, and you can do them fast. But let's go back to one of these and kind of show what's going on. So if we went back to, let's say this guy here, he's kind of classic. So really, he's no different than doing it uh, with three terms like we did in the last video. Picture this as n squared plus 0n minus 25. And you're trying to think of things that multiply to make negative 25 and add to 0. So multiply to negative 25, add to 0. How about a 5 and a negative 5? So 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, 5 plus negative 5 is 0. And that's why those have to match. If we checked this by foiling it, that'd be n squared uh, minus 5n plus 5n minus 25. So that'd be n squared, those go away, minus 25, and that gives you the original. So it's no different, I always feel like quoting Yoda, no different, only different in your mind, uh, than doing the three terms, uh, where you have to multiply to that number and add to the middle number. Uh, but it's very quick, so when you spot two terms, most likely it's a difference of squares. Uh, sometimes it'll be a sum or difference of cubes, and we'll go over that as well. So that is that.